My guest co-host this week is JT Mahoney. Having a good time so far, JT? Having an absolute blast, Jim. Cool. So JT is a spring nut, and uh, this past weekend, in the midst of those three shows at MetLife Stadium, it was the annual Spring Nut Serenade, which uh, raised a lot of money. Uh, I'm going to find out right now because we've got uh, Howie Chaz, the uh, warden of the Spring Nut Asylum, joining us. Howie, it's Jim and JT. How are you, buddy? Hey, Jim. Hey, JT. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for calling in. So congratulations to all to you and all the Spring Nuts. Uh, it sounded like it was a huge success. I mean, are, are you still recovering from everything? You've had a long week. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> just scraping us off the floor right now. We're still <laughs> definitely recovering. But it's, listen, it was a great week to have. Um, it just happened to you know work out that you know we did it in between Bruce's first two shows. As you know, we usually do it in Asbury in May, but you know Bruce was touring in Europe, and it, it just didn't make sense you know where everyone was going to be scattered. So when Bruce uh, announced the Met Life shows, and we saw there was actually this was uh, Julie's idea that you know to in between shows one and two there was a gap. And we said, okay, let's see if we could find the place in in Rutherford. And we found this place called Red's uh, Bar and Restaurant, uh, which is really around the block from MetLife. And it, they were an amazing hosts. I can't thank them enough for everything that they did. Um, they were great partners in this. And, uh, yeah, we had show one and, you know, very little time to recover and then right into the serenade. Um, JT, I didn't realize that you were there. I wish, I don't know if we got a chance to meet, but if I didn't, I apologize for that. <laughs> um, don't worry, Howie. I was able to see you. Don't worry. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Uh, but it was an amazing event. Um, it, you know, originally the event was supposed to be around from 5 to 11. It ended up going to like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, but you know how, you know... The That's how it happens, are, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, that's yeah. how it happens. And you would think they would be tired from the night before, and knowing that they had the show on Friday, they would say, I need to get to bed and get ready. But, you know, when they were just having a great time, and I, I'm really happy about that. Um, we did raise an incredible amount of money for um, Why Hun Hunger. Just, um, you know, we raised $34,000 for the charity this that's year. That's great. Oh, that's awesome. Um, awesome. Yeah, and, you know, listen, that's a testament to the group. You know, the group is, you know, very generous, and, you know, this is just didn't come from the people that came to the event. It came from donations that from people that didn't come from the event. This just shows you, you know, what how generous this group can be. Um, that they are. We had, uh, yes. I, I appreciate that. And, you know, we... Plus this year, which we never have done before, we like I said, we usually have it in in Asbury. We, we you know we do it get you know Danny Clint's gallery, but you know this year we said well, how can we make this a little you know give this take it to another level, and we reached well we reached out to uh, Nikki Jermaine, who has um, an amazing book out um, Springsteen Liberty Hall, mm -hmm. and we said you know Nikki would you want to be part of this? And again, this is you know even though. She's not in particularly in the band. It's an off night, you know. Maybe she, you know, she wanted to spend time with Gary, or whatever. So she was all, excuse me, she was all over it, and she said, "Let's do this." And you know, it was. She sold every book that she brought with her, so that was great. And for a surprise, um, Gary Talent showed up. Yeah. At the event. Yep. And that was just you know part one, and you know. Gary, like as we all know, is a sweetheart of a guy, but he is, you know, he's laid back. He's not in the limelight. He likes to sit back and, you know, do his thing and whatever. And but I can't begin to tell you how amazing he was. I mean, obviously, having an East Street Band member at, you know, a serenade is surreal. And you know, he took pictures with everyone, you know, that came up to him. He was so gracious and giving, and and it was amazing. And then. On top of that, you know, which was like, you know, was a major plus, and, and I can't begin to even describe this, is that so we found out that um, uh, Anthony Almonte and Ozzy Melendez was going to come. And they hit me up, um, and it's so funny how it happened because this just shows you 
the the dedication to the fans and their, their testament is because so after MetLife won, after we extended the invitation to everybody that we usually do, MetLife won ended. Um, you know, half an hour after the show, I was driving back, you know, with Julie, and I get a text from Anthony. And this is a half an hour after they just performed. Yeah. Okay. And, okay so they, you think they're going to bed, they're chilling out, they're eating, whatever. Anthony messages me and says, Howie, I'm coming. I'm bringing in Ozzy with me. We'll be there. We'll be there at 7 o'clock. We'll meet you, you know. And I was blown away. You know, again, it just was, I, you know, to me, to be honest with you, I would never put it out there, but I said I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> right. And, but, <laughs> cause, but sure enough, sure enough, at the serenade, you know, he calls me. I'm in the parking lot. We see them. And, you know, again, it was a surprise. We brought him upstairs to, with Nikki and Gary. And when they walked up to the, you know, it was the two floors. So we had the first floor was the bar and the dancing. And then the second floor, we segregated to the book signing and buffet and um, to have the band members up there. And when they walked upstairs and they came out of the elevator, the place just exploded. Oh, I'm and sure. Just, yeah. That's great. So the one thing I got to say is that I just expected all of them. You know, when I mean all of them, I mean Gary or, you know, Anthony or Ozzy. Just, you know, take one group photo, say hi, you know, wave, whatever, and, you know, be off on their way. Okay, they, Gary was there for five hours, and the Ozzy and Anthony stayed for four hours, and they took pictures with every single mem- uh, person that was there, okay, separately. Wow. They never asked them to do JT, did you get pictures? Oh yeah. Okay. Big time. Cool. And I, we actually felt bad, and and I, and we said to them, you know, me and Amy and Julie, we said, you know, listen, this is not what we expected you. We feel terrible. We don't want you to sit here and spend the whole night just, you know. And there was a line going from downstairs to the second floor to take these pictures now, so it turned into a different type of, you know, element. And they said, uh, he just turned to me, both of them. They said, Howie. We are good. We're enjoying this. We're enjoying the interaction with the fans. And that speaks volumes for them. Yeah. So, I, you know, it just shows you what the street band, whether you're, you know, in the background or whether in the front, what their mindset is. It, it's, it's really, truly amazing. Well, you, you, you and Julie did an amazing job putting this whole thing together. And it's great that you picked Reds because, I mean where the stadium is there's nothing around except reds which is like perfect place to have yeah. it you know it's i mean a lot of people yeah. i think stayed in the hotels around that area i don't know if you were listening a couple of weeks ago uh howie but i mentioned you know being that i'm from somewhat around that area if people were calling i had some advice for them to you know where to eat or something but i did recommend that reds is a great place so i'm good i'm glad that you found that spot to do the uh, serenade this year yeah, and they were like I said, they were great hosts. They did any everything and anything that we needed to do. Um, and I, you know, people were going there, after, you know, after the serenade, they, mm-hmm. every between every show and everything. And and I actually spoke to um, Doug Polisi, who is the owner of of, of Reds, and uh, <laughs> he's in mourning right now because <laughs> we left, you know, because it was so much fun. And you know, and he said he was so. Uh, overwhelmed by the love and the interaction that they had with them and with each other. And I said, well, this is what the group is supposed to be about, so I'm glad you got to see that side of it. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, Reds is a, for people that don't know, Reds is a stadium, uh, it's, it's a restaurant bar area that's right outside the sort of the grounds of uh, MetLife Stadium and the whole Meadowlands uh complex there and uh, if you're going to a concert at the stadium you should go there before the show get something to eat something to drink and then they even have a little shuttle bus that kind of takes you right. into the stadium area so you don't have to cross a major highway <laughs> to yeah get exactly there. Yeah. yeah that's cool so that's awesome howie uh, wonderful to hear i mean I'm, I'm sure you know the bad news that that uh, bruce announced last night were you heading to any of the other shows this month um i was not um bet life Three was probably going to be my last show for a while, mm-hmm. um, but I was definitely shocked about it. You know, um, you know, I, I feel for him uh, greatly. I mean, you know, I don't. I'm sure this is going to be, you know, the same sentiment by many of your callers today. But you know, you have to think about what 
Bruce just did in just for Met Life in general, if we're just going to use the last three shows as a as a litmus test, that yeah, obviously this is this is not something that just came about. This is something that he's been going through for a while. Yeah. And the fact that he put on a show and you know these shows at the level that he does, and you know he could have easily um, you know postponed these shows as well, and he didn't. And not only did he not didn't he just put on incredible epic three shows that were you know, will last a lifetime. So it's just, again, it's another part of his legacy that just shows that he never mails it in. He's always delivers healthy or sick. And, you know, it's just, uh, I feel for him. I, 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 I wish him, you know, a speedy recovery. Um, he should take his time um, and we'll be waiting for him when he gets back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. Nothing you can do right now but rest and get better, Bruce, and, and you know, their show scheduled for Canada and, and the West Coast in November and December, so hopefully he'll be uh, back in good form and, and ready to uh, bring those shows back for the rest of the tour. And the September shows will be rescheduled again, so they will happen, it's just a little further on down the road. So that's what's, uh, you know, unfortunately I know everybody's disappointed, and like I said earlier, you know, Bruce is, and the band are just as disappointed as we are because they love doing what they do and they get to play for us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you just, you just never, you know, no, that's why it's always important to keep in mind, you know, that we never know everything. We, we, we're definitely not in the loop, you know, when things get canceled or postponed or whatnot. And we just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So we have to be, you know, a little bit more patient and, and, and understanding that, you know, whatever's happening, there's a reason for it. And, you know, this shows that now that it's come out, everyone's obviously, you know, wants Bruce to get well and is sympathetic, but we should always keep in mind if things don't, you know, are not going our way, when things are get canceled, there is a reason for it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, Howie, I, we're, we've been talking here uh, about the Spring Nuts, and there's probably listeners that are, are somewhere around the U.S. or in North America, and they're saying to themselves, what is this Spring Nut thing, and how do I become a part of it? So do you want to uh, direct people on how they can be, become part of this group? Well, you know, the, 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 you know it, uh, it, Spring Nuts is a Facebook group that uh, started out as a Facebook group. It's, you know, you know I, I guess I, it, this is the time I should take to, 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 you know, to speak about what we really are because it is, gets lost in the shuffle here. And, I, and I, I hope JT can attest to this, and I hope this is the case for him as well. You know, we're not just a bunch of obsessive fans. We're not just a fan group. You know, there's a million great fan groups out there, and we're just one of many, and we're all in this together. We're not better. We're not worse. Spring Nuts is more of a community. You know, it's more of, uh, it's all about, not just about Bruce and his music, but it's also, it's mainly about friendships and connections and, and having, you know, these events and raising money for good causes and and really walking the walk you know so we we get i would dare to say that we have many you know we get together more than most groups do to to do these type of things and to promote positivity to promote good things especially in this excuse my language crazy ass world that we're living in <laughs> you know it's just uh you know we're trying to make you guys you know to make a place where you can have a distraction from all that and and that's why you know, all kidding aside when they're saying warden and, and all this stuff, it's just because we're trying to maintain, you know, we're trying to give you a fun place to be. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, I always say, you know, it's like when you're going on vacation. When you go on vacation, you want to leave all your baggage behind and enjoy your vacation. You don't want to take the baggage with you. And that's what we're trying to do, at least for a couple hours or, you know, whatever it is, you can come to this group, Spring Nuts, and enjoy yourself. And I'm not saying everyone's great, and I'm not saying everyone is you know holds themselves to the you know the greatest degree but though that's an individual thing as far as the group what the group represents is community friendships positivity and and connections and if you're on board with that then this is the group for you if if you you know have things that you know you feel like you just want to complain about then i can guarantee you this is not the group for you yeah, yeah. um and and that's what separates us I feel from other groups. Now, that being said, to join the group, all you have to do is send a request, you know, a group request to, to our Facebook group. It's spring.nuts. 
and you know just enjoy just enjoy each other and be empathetic and sympathetic and and want to do the right things and have fun that's what this is i know this is internet i know it's social media and it's hard to you know you know you're going to get what you get but the bottom line is if you want to have a good time and enjoy friendships and make friendships forever okay literally this group was started 8 years ago okay we were 500 members, okay, and now between all of our social media, we're almost at 60,000. Wow, okay? yep. Okay, and it's, it's really not about the numbers. It's it's not the quantity. It is the quality because I do like to think that, you know, in the end, it, um, the majority of, of the group is good-hearted, and we, we prove that, um, you know, not to just throw it out there like, you know, you know this better than I would, Jim, you know. It, you know, when you're, if I have Bruce to, last year we had Bruce send us that message. Yes, Stone Pony, which was great. And, that was incredible. And, and you know, that was something that, obviously, we always invite <laughs> everyone to the serenade, even the East Street Band, whatever it is. And, you know, listen, Bruce, you know this better than me. Bruce is not just going to send out a video and, you know, say the word spring nuts if we didn't, our reputation didn't, you know, carry any weight. At least yeah, years in. absolutely. And, and you know, and that's something that we fight very hard for, that I fight very hard for, and it means my, you know, our reputation means a lot. You've been, you know, you personally, Jim, and your station, you know, has been a huge supporter of, of us, and I always greatly appreciate that, and I always will, um, you know, but... Again, you know, we stand for something, and Bruce is not going to just put his name on something, or at least acknowledge us at that point, if we didn't, you know, we weren't doing the right things. So I like to say that was a vindication, and also it was it was something that said we're doing we're doing good things. Yeah, well, you are, Howie. You guys are doing good things, and and again, raised a lot of money, and that's that's so awesome that the group came together to do to, to go out for a good cause and have a great time as well. You know, celebrating the three concerts at MetLife Stadium, but it's all it all uh, works really well together. And you know, I always check out the the fan page to see what's going on, see who's commenting on things, and people post their photos and videos and it, it's a fun thing to check out so uh if it's something you're interested in to how we set it up again for you how we what is it if they want to be a member where do they go again it's, it's, it's spring dot not on uh, i'm not, not spring dot nuts, I'm sorry. it's spring uh, hyphen nuts at um on facebook and spring nuts on twitter there you, you go know. and that's how you become a member there's no initiation there's no nothing right all you have to do your only rules are is to be nice to one another enjoy the group interact and have a good time and if you if you can't do that then <laughs> i am sorry but yeah. otherwise that's the easiest initiation you could ever ask for <laughs> there you go there you go howie it's always a pleasure to talk with you once again congratulations to you and the spring nuts on, on another fantastic serenade another successful one um, I'm sure you're already starting to plan next year. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but, <laughs> but but I do appreciate everything, Jim, and and as always, you've always been great with us and great with me personally. So for that, I thank you, um, JT. I hope you had a great time at the serenade. Um, I'm loving the show, and if I can, Jim, I just want to uh, mention one other thing yeah. that we're doing on Sunday. Um, so on Sunday, um, if anyone is in Asbury Park. Um, we have um, Alexandra Jardval and Chris Fritz and Jake Tissel. Um, we have a show at Asbury Lanes. Um, this show is going to be in support of the Endometriosis um, Foundation of America. It's something that Alexandra, who's from Sweden, came away from Sweden to perform here. Um, it's a dream of her to perform in Asbury, um, and, and it's something that she suffers from. If anyone is, you know, in the area in Asbury on Sunday, the show's at 2 o'clock. We'd love for you to join us and just come on by. And, you know, I just wanted to, to let, you know, people know that, you know, we're doing this as well. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Howie. I appreciate you Thank promoting you, that. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Be well, my uh, friend. All right. Take care. Howie Chaz, the uh, leader of the, I mean, leader, the warden of the Spring Nut Asylum. The warden. We, we yeah. say that as a joke, but it's, but it's, uh, he really, him and Julie do a lot and uh, setting up all the Spring Nut events and keeping the website and the Facebook page going and the group and everything. And you know all about that, JT. Yeah, he, he, I can testify. He does a lot of 
really, really hard work to make that group work and make the serenades work as well as they do. And he does a fantastic job. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to take a break. We've got more calls on the way. I think we'll be hearing from Donna from Bruce Funds. Uh, we'll talk with her, and we want to talk with you. We want to get your thoughts on the shows, if you've been to any of the concerts, especially last week at 